there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and loopylamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at three different Laurel Hill crochet hooks, the Nam Ock, the Tri, and the Forest Palm. I spent a month crocheting with these handmade wooden hooks so that way I can share an in-depth and honest review with you on what these handmade crochet hooks from Laurel Hill are like to work with. So if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. Now, before we get into the actual crocheting with the hooks, I want to talk to you a little bit about the business. So I'm a big fan of supporting small businesses and Laurel Hill is a small family run operation that was started about 19 years ago by owner Rick Brown. Now, it is now co-operated by Rick and his son, Danny, and they have expanded their business beyond just selling their own homemade crochet hooks into selling a variety of different knitting and crochet products from different fiber arts businesses. So they have a lot of different products online. So, uh, and one of the great things, even in just my discussions with um, Danny, were that they understand that not one crochet hook or knitting needle is for everyone and everyone's hands are different and their comfort levels are different. So um, I really loved that they embrace that and they understand that. And they, so because of that, they offer so many different tools for different uh, people. One of the things that I loved most about these hooks and really piqued my interest in them is that these wooden hooks are handmade from exotic woods that are produced using only natural repurposed materials. The forest palm hook, this one here, is actually made from old branches of palm trees and is made from 100% recycled material. And I absolutely love that. Anytime that I can uh, limit my impact on the environment from my crafting, I'm going to definitely uh, look into that option and try to pursue it if possible. Now, as you can see, I've got three different crochet hooks here, and I have a three and a half millimeter, a six millimeter, and a five and a half millimeter. These are my three most used crochet hook sizes. Now, um, although I have these three sizes here, Laurel Hill crochet hooks are made in sizes 3.25 millimeter or D hooks up to size M, which is a nine millimeter hook. Now, uh, when they're shipped to you, they are shipped in these little sleeves. I'll put one in there, in these little sleeves. And uh, they're handy for if you need to throw your crochet hook in your purse. And um, the hooks themselves are quite light. They weigh almost nothing in your hand. And I will tell you, when I got these hooks in the mail, I opened up the package and I was in the car with my husband talking away. I opened up the package, put my hand in and grabbed one of the hooks and was absolutely stunned. These are the absolute smoothest wooden crochet hooks I have ever laid hands on. And I've used a lot of crochet hooks and different ones in, in my time. And I was actually stunned. I pulled them all out of the package and I'm grabbing them. I'm like going to my husband, you need to feel these. He's like, I'm driving, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, but they are really, really smooth. And uh, everyone uh, at my uh, weekly crochet club, we call it, uh, got to hold these and everyone had the same reaction was like, oh my gosh, these are so smooth. And, and I will say the yarn just glides on these hooks like nothing else. It is delightful. Um, I, I personally love these hooks for uh, what I consider um, difficult fibers. And they're not really difficult, but I call them that in my head because um, fibers that tend to create extra drag on your hooks. And so in my head, I call them difficult. So like things like cotton, uh, rougher yarns that really tend to drag on especially plastic hooks. These just, these hooks just slid through those yarns like they were nothing. Um, I wouldn't personally pair this with a bamboo or uh, like a silk blend because it's just going to keep flying off your hook because these hooks are so like they're they're so smooth they'll just fly off it's crazy. So I mean I could talk about this all day but we won't. <laughs> so uh, the hooks themselves are beautiful but they are quite unique. And I want to talk to you about their unique shape here. So um, they have a really great point on the end. I have had other crochet hooks that have a bit of a point, but not as um, 
as uh, notable as this because it is, um, it, I wouldn't say it's sharp, but it is actually more pointed than other crochet hooks that I've ever used. And so that bit of a point was really helpful, especially when doing um, an amigurumi project with this smaller hook, because it really helped to kind of cut into those um, tight stitches on the project with that point. So really, really great. And they are a cool combination of an inline and a tapered hook. Now, if you take a look at the throat here, we can see that this is an inline hook. But the why I say it's kind of the combination between inline and tapered is because most regular crochet hooks, and I'm going to bring just like a regular aluminum hook I got here from the dollar store to show you. So with a regular crochet hook, you take a look at your the shaft of your hook here, and you have this area from this point to your thumb rest where it is um, straight. It's a maintained circumference so that way all the loops you have on your hook are the same size. But with the Laurel Hill hooks, they are tapered all the way up to the thumb rest. So that does uh, play or play into a change in your gauge potentially it did for me and for when I was crocheting with these hooks I found that my stitches were looser than um, crocheting with a hook of the same size from a different um, type of hook so because of that you might have to kind of play with what hook size you need to use in order to match gauge just if you're if you're used to using those uh, straight hooks and you're finding that it does affect your gauge. Um, but they are really, they are beautiful. And I did find that um, the the tapering, again, did did affect my gauge uh, a, li a little bit. And um, it did actually change how I was crocheting slightly. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Now they have a really uh, comfortable thumb rest. Again, because you've got this delightfully smooth hook there's nothing in here to agitate your skin what one of my biggest pet peeves about regular crochet hooks is they have the numbers and letters like engraved here in the thumb rest and I have sensitive skin so when I'm crocheting with a hook like that and it's got the engraving there it really agitates the skin on my finger and I've actually had it like um, start tearing the skin on my finger after a while. So um, I really love that that's not there. You can see that the hook size is marked down here near the end of the hook. Now I normally crochet with a knife grip, right? So you, knife grip is like this. And so because the grip itself is relatively thin, um, I and I'm a tight crocheter, I did find that I was um, tending to put a little extra pressure on my thumb joints here while crocheting and that did cause a little bit of pain and so I was finding that I couldn't crochet with them as long as other crochet hooks that I have however because I do this professionally and I need to work the muscles not just in this in the same place all the time I like to switch things up so I switched to pencil grip so when I switch to pencil grip I'm not as comfortable with that but I you know when you have a deadline to meet and you need to crochet you know you got to switch things up. So I, when I switched to pencil grip, I loved this for pencil grip. I actually found this to be the most uh, comfortable hook I've ever used for pencil grip. And uh, I was able to crochet a little bit longer with the pencil grip using these hooks. Um, but because of the pain my I was getting in my thumb, I was over exaggerating the movements with my hand and, and my wrist here. Um, to kind of compensate for that but also because of the tapering I was finding that I was trying really hard to keep the stitches near the end of the hook okay um but my overall impressions of the hooks is like they're they're durable like I said I've been working with these for a month they look brand new you can't there's not a scratch on them um they're lightweight they're essentially functional little works of art they are a delight to hold and to use and they're really reasonably priced as well at the time that I'm filming this for you um, their site sells them for nine dollars and 99 cents American a hook which is in my opinion an absolute steal I don't know where anywhere else you can get a handmade crochet hook of this caliber for 9.99 so and like the gl the yarn glides off this hook seamlessly it's even smoother than some metal hooks that I have in my personal collection and as we've already touched on, my only issue I had with these hooks was that the length of time I was able to crochet with them was shorter than other hooks because of the way I was compensating um, to deal with the tapering and because of that grip. But as we noted in the beginning, 
not every hook is for every person. And depending on how you hold your hook and your crochet, and how you crochet these hooks might be the hook that for you and uh, that would be great if this is something that you would enjoy but um, I will definitely still continue to use these hooks for smaller crochet projects and um, areas um, for different times that I know that I'm not going to be crocheting at length. So um, we'll just take a look at these other hooks quickly because I know I've mostly been just focusing on the tri hook there. So this is the forest palm, the darkest of the crochet hooks. I did use this one the most and I actually have been crocheting this um, lacy scarf here with this hook and this is a fingering weight yarn and um, again just a delight to work with. This here is the nam ok hook. And I really love that you can see the wood grains in these hooks. They are just absolutely gorgeous. And then again, this is the tri hook. And there's not much grain going on in this, but they are beautiful regardless. So if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. Again, I've been crocheting with these hooks for a month, so um, I've done quite a bit with these hooks. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. If you'd like to check out Laurel Hill Hooks, I'll link to their website in the description box below. That's it for me today, friends. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you are interested in checking out some of my free crochet patterns, I've got over a hundred of them available on my blog, theloopylam.com, many of which include step-by-step -step video tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.